Hey guys, welcome back, and uh, my buddy Andy, a couple of you have actually even messaged me and said, hey, can you do a tutorial on the waterfalls uh, in Suyana Zoo in our new build here? And uh, I said, yeah, that's actually probably a really good idea because I kind of just figured out this way uh, myself just about a week or so ago of trying it this way. So this is the, uh, the for anybody that's new, Maybe you don't even know about the series, but this is a new zoo that we started like last week. And uh, I started with a new style of waterfall because I didn't want just the regular, um, you know, plop it up to an edge or cover the water with rocks, uh, just type of way of doing it. And I also didn't want to have to have actual water because um, they having to put actual water in and put up the barriers and try to get all of the the water mechanics to actually work um, it just it's it's tough you typically can't make it look right you can hardly make it look like this without actually covering uh, the front of the rocks you know like with debris or logs um, so I have figured out a new way to actually do these waterfalls um, without actually using water at all except for the base part you know down here you probably still need to use the water just so it looks like it actually has somewhere to flow from but um, all of these waterfalls you see here these do not have um, actual water up in there it's all just the VFX effects so what we'll do is let's go ahead and jump out here and the first thing I do is down here on your terrain button click on that I go to pull and then you can adjust the size of your pull right there this little slider here and your intensity so what I typically do let's just do we'll do one with like a couple splits it, basically what we're doing here is like a uh, it, it's a tiered waterfall system essentially then I'll take the flatten the foundation may make that a little smaller kind of flatten this out up here kind of give it a little bit crisper edge because if you, it doesn't look right if you kind of leave it bubbled all right then what I may do we need our first uh, splashdown section so I will raise this just a little bit and see I'm just we're totally in the uh, terrain tools right now there we go and just to keep it simple, simple for you guys, because um, I know you probably haven't tried this before, um, we won't do, uh, let's see, maybe we can do, we'll do one more drop down um, right here. There we go. And this larger part out here, this will be our pool. Our lagoon if you will and if you want you can go ahead and just like right now just get water put water down in it whoops a little too high put water down in it and then the next part it's uh, it's kind of up to you I usually like to do the painting next so go right into your terrain tools click on painting and I like the soil this works really good to kind of hide the grass because like I said remember we're not actually using water except for in the lagoon so I will get this painted all brown and we can add in some uh, we can add in some sand too but for the for the base I pretty much just use brown use a little bit of sand there we go now it is time to go into your construction tab this is where we're going to move to the vfx right down here over to the uh to the far left see right there special effects click on that and you can actually even um we can we can narrow it down to just water for now so that's what i'll do let's see and we will i typically start out with the actual midsection of the falls so click on that now I'll hold shift and then I'll click X so I'm holding the X button now we've uh, I've actually let go of the X button I've tapped it so we're on this axis spinning I'll tap the X button again and then we'll kind of move it back to the edge here lower that I was trying to get it just you know just trying to get it to the edge 
but you want to leave it just far enough out to where it actually see the effect actually comes through if, if you push it too back too far back in there see it you don't get that you don't get the effect so we'll put that one there we'll move over here hit X I'll see see how the the terrains actually kind of it juts out that way so I'm essentially I'm trying to line up the waterfall effect with the terrain you don't want it all you don't want it to just be a straight line um, through there so oops, actually clicked off that we will take it out through here hit X again turn it just a little sink it back into the terrain wall probably go even a little more we've got that one in I'll go ahead and click off that now this one right here, you can tip, you know, I can do this one straight, straighter, just because it's still, it's still kind of on that same plane. Maybe lower that one just a hair. All right, so there's that section. We'll leave this empty right here for now. Remember construction, special effects. Down over here towards the end, uh, 10 meter section. X, X, get this turned for us, meow. Bring that out just a, maybe just a hair. It kind of looks cool with that, um, with the terrain kind of clipping right there. We can do one right there, maybe bring one out just a little bit, turn it. Like I said, I'm, tack, I'm just tapping the X button. All right, so we got those, the main little sections of, uh, like the main feeder is ready up there. So now we gotta come down here. We gotta get this one. A couple more little sections to go. Cause you gotta have this second little tiered fall off. So that one works. Click it. Click it and this one will turn just a hair sink it a little more because all of that water's kind of rushing off that it's going to be rushing off that top tier and then we've got one more section down here into the main lagoon hit X get this flipped and get this rolling kind of get this rolling off this last little edge um, into the main lagoon here so we'll click it and see the terrain changes. So we'll spin that just a little bit. Changes big time right here. This is where our rock work will, will come into play. So we'll really spin that one, kind of busting off that edge. And maybe just one more out here, kind of spin it back a little bit and then sink it in. There we go. So our kind of like our first little mapped, our first little mapped out falls are ready to go. And what we'll do is see how we have, we have so much coming down right here. It would be hard to make the rocks actually like wanna turn it this way to where it just falls here. So what we'll do is we'll probably put one larger section of falls and we'll just let it come right off this edge down into the main lagoon kind of by itself. Could even probably tilt that back a little bit, bring it over, and the rest of this, you know, we'll, we'll get it cleaned up with the rock work, but that was kind of like a little bit too big of a gap to just leave. May even do one more closer to the bottom here, just to kind of tie, we'll tie all that in with rocks, like I said, but there we go. So see our main little plateau, all of our little steps are ready to go. So the next thing we need to do is hide all of this. <laughs> and I'll show you how to do that. What we're gonna do is, uh, let's see, we need to look for our foam. This is an important one to make all of this work. So we've got our foam here. And this is essentially is what is gonna hide our ground. So let's sink it in a little bit. See 
to bring it up just high enough to where it kind of starts covering that grass. I'm being really, really slow here because you don't want it. You don't want it waving way up above everything. So we'll click, get another one over here, and I'll, and we'll stagger them. See, because you got to have you have to have a lot of commotion going on to uh, to kind of hide all this. So a lot of turbulence, a lot of action coming off of that uh, coming off that waterfall. We'll turn a little bit. We'll turn this one because obviously that water is going to be rushing from this direction. And there, see, we've kind of we've started. We've got our uh, we've got our our, uh, our waterfall plateau is rolling for us now. Let me bring that one back just a little bit. Lower this one. Kind of get this up to the edge here. Rotate that just a hair to catch this side. There we go. And the last one, let's see, we will. Oops. Foam. We'll get this foam down here on this last little stretch. There we go. So yeah, we've kind of got those just a little high. Just need to do that to uh, to hide the, um, you know, to get that grass covered. And we've got some more tricks as well that will finish covering the grass. All right, so the next thing you need to do is I typically go to the rapid splash and see, like th this is what this one looks like, the VFX. So what I do is you want to make that crashing because you know it's it's crashing down on this uh, on this this little plateau here. So we will kind of just anything to help make it look a little more turbulent, you know. Like we definitely we definitely have something going on here. And we'll get our splashes there, and then our last couple splashes. Let's see if we can get some down here and here, and see all these little beads, these little VFX little uh, little pegs we'll get those covered and see right there I'm just holding the X button down so yeah see we're we're rolling pretty quick here we're about 12 minutes in <clears throat> next thing you can do to kind of help hide a little bit more of that um, of that ground is go ahead and find your bottom like right here waterfall bottom see how it's kind of got its own little bit of turbulence and it, more importantly it sends out those ripples that kind of, like I said, it just uh, helps with that, uh, with the turbulence and hiding the uh, hiding the grass. So remember, we've laid down no water at all. It has all been VFX, uh, with the exception of um, of the main lagoon. So see, it's coming out pretty cool so far. Uh, next thing we will do before we start getting fancy with the murky water and the water jets, um, that's actually a trick from Mike, uh, Mike Sheets. I'll show you here in just a few minutes. But now let's start working on our rock work. So click on nature. And then I am in love right now. If you have the South American pack with the dynamic mossy rock. So I'll get this big one, kind of, we'll get that put in place right there. Sometimes I'll spin it in, because it's just, a, it's a really good base piece. Then I'll take maybe this one right here. It's all about blocking in the waterfall. So, you know, it's, it, you want to try to make it believable that the, these rocks, you know, the water is busting up against those rocks and uh, it's not letting it spill out over into here, so. Um, then next we could probably take another big one, maybe set it up, kind of offset it a little there to the back. And what you can do if you don't want to put your splash up here, if you, if you want to make it look like it's, uh, like say this one you want to do it man-made, where it looks like maybe some pumps and filters are rolling, you can make it look like it's coming out from underneath the rocks here. So we'll, you know, kind of stagger these a little bit over the falls this mossy rock seven this is a good hiding piece as far as your uh you know as far as your um 
your waterfall hiding pieces go. Okay, then we've got another um, another piece over here. Another cool thing that, uh, that I'll do with the rocks sometimes is I'll stand them up on end. So like I'll hit X and then X again, and I will, um, oops, gotta be careful with it. I will spin this, then turn it. And anything, and I'll lower it, anything to just kinda break up your uh, break up your splash downs and your lagoons a little bit you know and then what this also does is you've got this rock in place now it kind of lets you play around a little bit to um, you know hide and counter sink um, you know some some other rocks that can hide the pegs so see now your pegs if I go too far you can still see the pegs but now going up like that that peg is hidden we can take maybe one of these little rocks right here, kind of sink it in with that rock. Let's see if we can get that peg. There we go, that peg is hidden. Put that rock right there. And see, so you can just kind of make it look like the, uh, you know, the water is definitely trying to squeeze its way through here. And uh, you know, it is, it is definitely trying to, take the, trying to take the path of least resistance here. <laughs> Uh, we'll get another big one out here on the edge because, like I said, we got to stop it from spilling over on us. Get that one. Maybe, maybe have that one kind of closing off right there. And then just another one. Don't forget to kind of fan them out, you know, kind of spread, uh, spread your edges out, your rock edges. Plop that one down. Let's see, we need to maybe get a couple sticking out right here. Since that's basically one of our big um, one of our big gap points. Let's see what we could do here. Maybe we could even take this one and kind of branch it off. Kind of like a foot almost. And then to support it. We'll take some of these smaller rocks. And, you know, they're kind of just out here chilling. Anything, like I said, to try to hide the fact that we do not, remember, we do not have water under this. So you've got to be a little bit of a magician here and try your best to, uh, you know, to tell this story and hide us not actually having water. Raise this up just, man, maybe, you know what, maybe we'll go with a little bit. Let's try this one because it might just be, looks a hair thinner. So all of this is kind of like this water is kind of seeping out. Flowing out from underneath this, uh, this underground tunnel system that we do not know where it comes from. But there we go. Got that hid. Now the one thing you got to do too is see your little pegs down here. Got to try to get them hid as well. So we will stack some rocks. Remember, rocks are your friends. And we've got one little last one down here. Let's see if we can... Might be a little too big. Let's see if we can get this peg here. That's a good one. And I might use the point of this rock to hide this peg. Because we definitely, you don't want to overdo it where you can't see the uh, the effects of the actual, um, of the waterfall VFX. But if you can poke that, see, you can poke it out there just enough to kind of hide the pegs. And this is another good one right here, too, for poking out. If you can just slightly, whoops, you can just slightly get that out there. There we go. This one's come out pretty good. I might have to use this. I might use this in like the, the hippo exhibit or something. <laughs> okay, so now you know we've got a couple more pegs up here and then you've got another part to do. You cannot leave out your foliage. So we'll hide that peg with that little rock sticking down. Um, let's see, maybe this one's got a little bit more pointier edge. Let's see if that looks... Turn that maybe. 
That, that one's... Eh, that's okay. Almost not big enough, but it works. Alright. So do we see any more pegs? I think we've got them all hidden. Alright, so another real, another cool thing that ties it together is, like I said, your uh, foliage. And one thing, one plant that I'm really, really loving right now is this uh, Brazilian nut tree. So, and it's okay if you want to like hide it in the rocks. So I'm hitting X. Let's see if we can spin that, really get a, yeah, see it looks better when you have a real good look at the, uh, at the branches, like the, the trunk, that's kind of what you're going after. Okay, we'll get that one on that side. Um, these little uh, bromelied uh, plants, they look really, really good up on the uh, up on these mossy rocks, like they've uh, you know like they've carved out a space up here. So what I'll typically do is I will uh, I'll kind of dot them around. Don't want to go you know over overkill on it, but you know these little plants have kind of bursted out and have uh, have found some life on those rocks. And then what I'll typically do is uh, I'll just scroll around. If I see some bracken I like, um, I'll kind of fill that in. Maybe maybe even be able to find another little tree to put up here. Like I said, this is more for like your uh, this is more for like your jungle type builds. Get some of that down here. Um, let's see what else we can do. Sometimes it even looks cool if you'll add some uh, some of the broken branches, broken uh, broken trees. See, like just one standing out like that can work. And let's just see this one. Uh, this is from the pack two. This looks really cool, especially if you can kind of sink it down. Look like it's out here, kind of breaking from the rock, fighting for some sun over here. And uh, these also can look really, really cool if you um, if you get some of your uh, your wamba trees. If you want your, uh, I'll sink these down as well. Just look like these, make these just look like big palms. Um, if you want your uh, if you want your waterfall in shade, the wamba trees um, are really good about providing that uh, that type of shade. These diamond leaf willow bushes, they they look really really cool, kind of mixed in um, close with the water. Like even up here, like it has a, it's like you know kind of like it's been able to fight itself out a spot. So just, you know, anything you can do to kind of make it, you know, just, you know, as, as, as naturalized as possible. And then so there we go. You have got that going. And one thing, too, that um, that really helps. Um, let me show. Well, actually, before we get on to that, let me just show you Mike's trick here real quick. Mike will actually take a uh, a fountain jet. Um, oh, excuse me, it's not, it's a water jet. And see how the water jet, it's kind of, if you leave it sticking straight up, you know, that that's it, you've got that. But what Mike has, uh, has shown us to do is actually, um, if you will bend that, let's see, where'd my jets go? Da, da, da. Medium jet. So see, it's sticking straight up right there. But what we're going to do is actually hit X and we're going to bend this and then look at this effect. Well, if we get it going right here, you actually have to hide it, but it gives a little more definition um, to the falls. It just it, it, it almost adds a uh, another layer of dimension. You don't want to be sticking out too far that the actual waterfall VFX um, doesn't give out. So let's see if we can... It's really kind of finicky to play with it too to, to get it looking right. But yeah, look at that. See how there's like an extra little... Uh, like an extra little dimension now of, of the water. Now one thing too also you can do... Um, a couple people were telling me this looked cool on the ones over actually in the zoo is with the... Um, 
with the waterfall option now with the South American pack, check this out. There is um, there is a, uh, a murky option now. So especially with these jungle type builds, see you can um, you can get in here and sync that and look how it's like it almost has like a a, a, a dirtiness to it, you know, like like it's like the uh, the actual thing is called a uh, a murkiness to the falls. And that can look really cool. Like, see over on that side, it looks like it's collecting that dirt and stuff that's kind of coming out of the cave. So yeah, there you go. That is uh, Estan Wolf's little uh, makeshift uh, waterfall tutorial. We did this in, well, we did this in about 25 minutes. And also the last effect, if you'll go into uh, ambience, and go, I, I love to kind of finish it off with some mist. So check this out. When we get this, uh, we'll do large mist. I'll plop one down over here. I like to sink it down a little bit. So we got that going. This really kind of helps tie in and hide the ground. Because remember, like we said, there's no water over here. So I'll come out here to this edge. Just anywhere that you're thinking your ground is showing up a little more than you'd like. And maybe we'll just do like one huge one down here. Kind of sink it down and that'll, that huge one will kind of cover that plateau because you have to figure with this much water coming down, you know, it, it, there's going to be some mist. It, it, you know, it's going to be, uh, it is going to be all over the place. This is going to definitely um, be a, a turbulent type area. And then um, down here at the very bottom, one thing I didn't show you when we finish this up, if you'll go back into your water tab, um, do your bottoms down here as well. Because, you know, this, this definitely, this little splash down area will, uh, it will definitely have some, uh, some splash downs going on. Just want to be really careful and not raise it too, too high. There we go. So yeah, there is your, uh, there's your 27 minute makeshift waterfall. And like I said, going back to your, um, going back to your nature tab, if you wanted it to be um, let's just say more on a like a shaded type area. It's just all about just adding in your trees, obviously. Um, where's my? Let's see, one of these. One of these looks really. Yeah, this one right here looks really good. Really adds like a cool presence to your waterfall. Kind of sink it back into the rocks. Plop that down. And there we go. You've got your uh, you've got your waterfall without actually using any water. It's all VFX. Some of these waterfalls too. If we'll uh, we'll blank off of this a sec and go to very early in the morning, you get some really cool shots. See that mist kind of coming off. Same way over here with some of these. Like if we go to the the uh, the croc falls. So play with your lighting too, you know. Yeah, there we go. That's just a little set of water, little set of waterfalls and rapids I did for the Crocs. And for anybody that is stuck around for this 30 minutes, this is uh, this is the uh, what's going to be in episode four. I brought in some more cichlid tanks, and uh, we've got some uh, we've got some exhibits going on back there. So this is kind of going to be just like a little walkthrough type uh, type attraction. You know, it, it comes out over here, but just anything to kind of, you know, kind of keep the people cool and keep them interested and keep them walking through. So, like I said, if you hung out this far, uh, thank you. And I hope you can use this, turn this into good use. And I think we'll use this, uh, well, I'll use this waterfall over here in the park somewhere. Maybe we'll get that moved and uh, 
get everything transferred over. But anyways, guys, yeah, as always, thank you for stopping by and hanging out with me. Let me know if you have any questions down below, and I'll do my best to answer them. And uh, yeah, I hope I catch you in the next video. Thank you. See ya.